Hello everyone, welcome to Liberable. I'm sure you can hear the sound here behind me. Denver, how are you, my bro? All right, and you? Lovely, lovely, lovely. Thank you so much for inviting me down to come and check out your Opal Cadet Super Boss and original Opal Cadet Super Boss. And I'm incredibly nervous because we know the price of Opal Cadet Super Bosses at the moment. Before I tell you more, ladies and gentlemen, please give this video a thumbs up, subscribe, and share with your family. Guys, first time behind the wheel, I'm going to take my time to Denver's place. And when I see a nice gap, I'll be putting my foot down here and there. This is Denver's pride and joy. So a little bit of respect goes a very long way. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. It's probably going to be about 12 to 13 minutes long, but it's going to be a full start. Tell me you guys saw the condition of this car. <laughs> I actually can't right now. Look at the seats. <sighs> so, over to you to enjoy. I mean, no, definitely. <laughs> Please tell me about your history with the Opel Superboss and your relationship with the racer that actually raced these cars back in that Kilani, Kailami, and all yeah, the other okay. places. So, yeah, I actually. My first interaction with the Superboss was before it was launched. Uh, one of my brother's friends had yes. purchased one and taken me for a ride. And in, it was love at first sight then. Uh, a year later in 1991, Mike Briggs uh, brought his Superboss down to Durban uh, for a Gymkhana. And he took me for a ride in it around the track. Wow! And, and I, I was 14 at the age uh, at that time and I said, I want to own a Superboss. Yeah. And at the age of 17, I had a Superboss. Wow! Uh, so I had that from 93 until 99 and the only reason I sold it uh, in retrospect I shouldn't have was to <laughs> actually go to the UK for two years Oh, okay um, So, but here it is I have one again and I'm happy And it is beautiful, oh my god I, Guys, I actually, I got emotional at this place because I was like it's a super boss 20XE super boss with 100 and uh, how much kilo? 125 kilo. 125 kilo. We are at altitude, so let's make that 110 if we're lucky. Um, these cars came standard with cams. Yeah, so they came standard with uh, Shrek cams, 276 degree Shrek cams, mm -hmm. which were adjustable for street or race mode. Nice. So, uh, but they came out from the factory on uh, race mode and no one ever really changed it to street mode. Of I mean, course. you were buying the Superboss. I mean, who's going to change it to street mode? Yeah. 
So in addition to that, they came with a limited slip differential. Yes. Uh, with option of a 20% block or 80% block. Uh, they came from the factory on 20% block, but I've had this change to 80% block. I hear they can be tricky on metros like you were telling me yeah. earlier. Uh, in addition to that, it's got a larger inlet snorkel. Yes. Uh, revised ECU by Promotech. Nice. Uh, 4 into 1 branch manifold by Bozel. Uh, 7J LUH wheels. Yeah. Uh, 30 mil uh, lower Amsha progressive rate springs. So the car was developed for the track. And let's be honest, this was a homologation car in order to allow these to go racing, am I correct? Correct. Uh, 500 had to be made to allow it to race into group there. And it feels every bit of a racing car as I could have possibly imagined. The seats, these buckets, the steering wheel, the GSI 60 valve logo, like the center stacks as the cassette player, the original radio, like when the rays come up, man, she just flies. Mm. Mm, 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 mm. The 20X is a beautiful engine. Yeah. It can make monster power with booster, NA, these things make dumb yeah. power and it's a great engine to start with. Yeah. Indeed, you know the typical Opel jokes can be made, but <laughs> honestly, yeah. this is a piece of driving car porn. Yeah. Like, it is drop dead beautiful. such a clean Super B is I feel so honored um, it's been a dream of mine to drive such a car and I'm so glad look at this this is only in Johannesburg look at that look at that guys you can see on the front facing camera I mean people drive like crazy yeah. <laughs> okay let's make this turn off and then put our wheel wheel breathe into the throttle and see what our, our this uh, Opel Cadet Superboss goes So again guys, don't expect too much, this isn't a super car, but you've got... <laughs> you know how the, the guys love putting ITBs on these cars? Yeah. <laughs> I love the pops, out of the exhaust as well. Right, we have a gap coming up now, Turkey. Wait for the cams to come in. Cams is coming in now. And we really level pig in this guy. <laughs> this car loves to be driven hard, man. Yeah. Like, we're doing a certain speed and it's a 
enjoying itself. It's like, come on, man. Let's just break for under the bridge. I don't want to give this lovely gentleman a speed trap. Right. Knock it down a cog. Fourth gear. Here we go. <laughs> and on cam. And then it just pulls. Yeah. Thank you all so much for watching. Be free, be you. Love, Rebel, out. out.